Hello everybody and welcome to my space station mega build. So the last mega build I did was um, on the aircraft carrier. Uh, a link all that will be in annotated above. Um, and yeah, I decided I'd make another um, mega build because I found it quite fun to do it. Even though it took a long time, it was definitely worth it. So this build is of the space station using Galacticraft and the FND Warpack. Um, and basically I'm going to build up a massive space station. Well, I do. I have already built the space station. You're seeing it being built now, and we're gonna have a huge battle on it. We're gonna have loads of spaceships. It's gonna be awesome. So that's the ultimate goal. But for now, we've got to build the damn thing up. So, as you can see, I'm just sort of laying out foundations and stuff. Um, so this took me uh, build took me ten hours in total, probably more actually. Um, so yeah, if you chuck me a like, uh, that'd be awesome because I did put a lot of effort into this, and you'll see near the end how it's pretty ridiculous. So here I'm just sort of, I'm literally just randomly making patterns here. Um, when I do a lot of my builds, I don't have a basis or a plan. I literally just build and see how it looks and adjust it and then carry on building. So you see you've got this sort of triangular based, um, not, well, I guess it is kind of triangular based with these circles on the outside, which end up being towers. Um, so that's the general base of it. And the next step was to put on these. So this is kind of starting to get a little bit of a space station, like I'm fleshing out a bit. So I'm deciding there's going to be a little central tower, and there's going to be like little bridges off to each of the outer tower rings um, that you can travel down. Um, and eventually there'll be all airlocks and stuff in here, um, but that'll be in a later episode. And then again, I'm just fleshing it out a little bit more. So this will be to get to the second layer of the towers, um, and... Yeah, the, the outer towers end up being huge. Like, they dwarf the, the center one by a massive amount. Here we go, so I've put some supports up and fleshed it out a bit more. So you can see it's kind of taking shape now. So I use sort of, um, cold, oh yeah, I should, I should tell you the blocks. So I'm using quartz blocks um, from Applied Logistics, so they look pretty cool. And I'm using um, reinforced glass because it's got the effect of like, you know, on a space station, you want it to be really tough and secure, and you can't have any air leaks and stuff. And I like the the white, pure color of the quartz because it offsets quite nicely from the stars in the background. It looks pretty. I, I just I, I really like the space in Minecraft. The Galactic Craft is pre it's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, there's that, and the, the the support blocks, the black ones, are coal blocks. And now I'm starting to flesh the station down because I want it to have some depth where I can, we can put a bunch of stuff underneath. So you can see I'm sort of, I use this uh, sort of tapering in method um, and it ends up looking pretty good. So basically as you can see here I'm tapering down the whole outside of it and these circles on the outside end up being like pointed cones on the bottom. Kind of, almost like an ice cream I guess you could say. Um, and this whole area down here is going to be able to be filled with all kinds of machinery and space equipment and all of that stuff is going to be pretty sweet. And now you can see it tapering down more. So I think that's the lowest level I get it to. Actually, it might be one lower than that. Um, and then we have this huge area down here that we can put like all kinds of stuff in. And it's starting to look quite nice on the outside. Tapering in, I quite like the style of it. Um, and I, I was basically just building on a whim here. I wasn't really... had no plans. Um, and already it doesn't really look like any kind of space station you've ever seen before, which is kind of what I want it to be. I want it to be totally original, if possible. Um, and here we go, so I've just fleshed out the sides and put the bases into the towers. And if I dive down, I think I see, yeah, that I've put um, a sort of cone point on the base of one of the towers. Which is actually quite hard to get right, um, <laughs> because it's uh, just a weird shape. So we've got done it on one of the t one of the towers, or what will be the tower. Let's get a good look at it now, all the way around. And now all the towers are finished, and the whole thing has a floor to it. You can see the big work area that I'm going to have. I used Invar blocks that I quite like the sort of green metallic tint it had to it. Um, 
and now all of the towers or the, the cone bits on the bottom of that it kind of looks like rockets in a way which I, I quite like the look of that now the bottom is currently totally flat and it still is on the final build not sure whether I'll adjust that next episode I don't know I think it, I kind of like it because it looks it looks more space station like it could almost move um, with a bit of jet propulsion kind of thing so I'll have to see if I can make that um, look right I'll see because it's got some serious depth to it now so we're gonna need some extra height to sort of make it look normal and then I put in these this is my favorite bit of the whole thing actually these um window panes in the, that sort of diagonal shape I don't know I just really like the pattern. it's like the mosaic um so yeah that's my favorite part of the whole thing that's the bit I was most proud of um those uh reinforced glass windows it's really cool from when you look in the inside as well you can see like through all the upper the towers and stuff here we go the first tower so I built the bigger ones first on the outside um I give them windows and stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in these things yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out off camera. Um, and yeah, they, so I'm putting. I want oh, this thing's got a lot of windows in it. Like, I want it to be so you can see the the beauty of the whole outer space and looking down at Earth and looking at the rest of the space station. I kind of like that whole idea. I don't want it to be like, claustrophobic, like a, a real space station. I want it to be space. It's almost like a space city. It turns out like I wanted it to be open and grandiose so you can see now I'm doing the um, little towers so they just shot out of nowhere now these go right up to a sharp point um, and they've got symmetrical windows I think each layer is like eight eight blocks high seven or eight blocks high e each window section is six blocks high and I keep that for the entire build on all the windows and you can see these connecting bridges now which will go over to the wider towers on the higher levels And again, tapering in as it gets higher up. So you can see from the windows, you have to see pretty much the whole rest of the station. Which is what I wanted, basically. And then I tried putting like um, some kind of railgun defense on the top. Uh, I ended up removing this because I don't really like the, the look of it. It kind of just doesn't fit. The colouring is wrong. It will fit really well, I think, on like a battleship. A space battleship, but on the actual station itself, I decided that I didn't want any defenses to look like that. So I removed that and I just built the towers up higher and higher. Um, so you see, I've added another two layers to them, I think, and I've varied the window design on them so that um, I just wanted, I still wanted to see plain windows so gives it a bit of variety and spice so you can see on each layer the window styling is different and it's completely symmetrical to the other towers it looks identical which took quite a lot of messing around kept messing it up slightly but I like the idea of having um, varied window patterns it just breaks it up a bit rather than having just the sheer same thing over and over again it makes it less boring to look at And finally, here's the two finished towers, and look, they look pretty cool. Almost look like a space station anymore. It's more like a, a sort of floating city, isn't it, kind of? Um, and I quite like these. These, they're just very tall and pointed, and I don't know. I just, I'm, I, I turned out pretty happy with these. Um, the outer towers end up very, very different. The bigger ones, I didn't want four just pointy towers. I thought they'd be a bit boring, so. Yeah, and got some lights at the top as well, and in the middle, as you can see the reinforced glowstone. And now I put flooring in the bigger towers, because these are actually going to be layered. So, and now you can look at the inside with the uh, roofing, and you can see the whole station from all different directions. Oh, man, I like that. It's that's one of the nice features I, I enjoy with this. Again, symmetrical full ring on the other side, so it looks exactly the same. And glass to look down at the layers below. I kind of wanted that to be a thing. And again, varied shaped windows. And then I put another layer in. Um, so you can see through the layers one at a time. So you can look down at the floors below, then the floors below that. And I also marked out an area because I kind of want the space to be bigger than that. I didn't want two big towers. So I marked out a massive area, but I don't keep that because 
he doesn't really fit the sort of circular triangular theme, having two big beams going out kind of thing, so I ended up removing that, and I kind of had a bit of block here and couldn't figure out what to design for ages, and I was just fiddling around with little bits for hours at a time until I came up with this design, so I think I wasted two hours just trying to get something to look right, and eventually I came up with this. So it's like a semicircle on the um, the back of the circles that are going to be the secondary or main, t uh, probably the main tabs because they're a lot bigger. And this ends up looking pretty damn cool, I have to say. So here we go, I'm putting supports in, again, the same as I did on the central tower. Um, just to sort of make it look more realistic, I guess, but I need to add to that later on because these end up quite huge and those little supports don't, they don't t look, look quite right. They need bigger supports on the bottom, so eventually I'll change that. But you can get the rough pattern of what it's going to look like. Now time to flesh it out. So um, here's the base floor. So I've got some nice bay windows you can look down at Earth. I thought that was a pretty sweet feature. And you can see the sphericalness of it. Um, and I like that the front sort of bumps up with the extra circle. I, I just like the shape of it. And this is going to be like a big council. Each of these is going to be like a council or control room of sorts. Because they go quite high up without having like um, layers in between. So you'll see. Here we go, so we've got two more layers on, and Greg, I've made windows everywhere, so you can see how it looks really grandiose. I kind of want it to be like like a Mass Effect council chamber type thing, and you can see at the back there's more windows that gradually get wider, um, and again it tapers in. I've used the tapering in a lot on this build, it's pretty much the only thing I use, and lots of circle, circle pictures of Google so that I can figure out what size to make the circles look correct. But it's looking pretty cool, I like the, uh, the shape of it. And the side of it and the next clip you'll see me duplicate it on the other side um, but yeah lots of windows so you can get a good so from every other station you can see outer space and the rest of the station so that's a really key feature for me on this build and there we go duplicate on the other side so you can get a nice look at it now we're about I don't know seven hours into the build maybe And there we go, I've added some more layers to it, so um, one higher. And this is the full size of the sort of council-y type room, I guess, um, of the station. And again, the top window is even wider, so you get a nice um, sort of gradually growing outwards effect. Um, and from the inside, it, lo it looks really cool. I, I like, it'd be like, just super this would be like a cool building on Earth, let alone in space. And you see all the stars, I just think I just like the look. I just love the stars. So they slightly move as well. There we go. So I've built um, up to the top layer. Uh, so it's gonna be a layer up here. I'm t I might build a bridge across um, to the two different towers. And you can see here that um, it sort of splits. There's two sort of quarter circles now on the top. So I decided that I'd give it a bit of stylization and split the towers into two because um, I figured it would give it um, a nice sort of splintering look. There we go, so you can see I put the, the little rooms on the tops. Not really sure what it's going to be useful, mainly just stylization for now, but it looks pretty sharp. And you've got a nice glass window you can see all the way down through the center. And obviously there's sort of a porch area on top of that, um, which is maybe, I might put some laser turrets on it or something in future, or some rail guns for defense. There we go, I've built them up quite a few layers again. I've done some... Again, I'd rather than having boring block windows than sort of slightly shaped windows. The backs don't have any windows. And you can see the sort of pulling apart at the top as they're getting smaller and smaller, which is pretty cool. And this is actually the final build. Um, I adjust the windows a little bit on the front and fill the roofs in. But this is done. And my god, this took me a long time. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks nice. Um, and we'll get one final flyover of it all sort of finished. And we'll get a look around the insides. Man, from the distance, it sh you realise how huge it is and how much time I spent into it. So if you could give me a like, it'd be awesome. Um, so next episode, we're going to fill this in with a bunch of useful stuff. And you can see like, at the bottom, those two little struts don't seem to really match the whole massive tower thing. So I'm going to adjust that, I think, next episode. Um, 
and also we're going to build all the interiors and then we're going to do a couple of episodes of building some awesome spaceships and then we're going to do some big battles like we did the ship sinkers battles um so that's going to be awesome so the more likes you get the more motivated i motivated i will be to build the rest of it um and man the towers from the outside look just freaking cool i know i'm trumping myself up but i was i was really happy with it so now we're going to have a tour around the inside so I can explain where some of the stuff will probably go next episode. So all of these ladder systems is going to be um, along the space station probably throughout the whole thing. So I want us to be able to get around it legitimately without having to like be in creative mode. So we're going to have lots of ladders like that. We're also going to have airlocks and air bubble systems so you can actually breathe in here. Um, which I think will be neat. So this is going to be one of the council chambers or control rooms. And again, you can see the rest of the station from here. And it's just like looking out at the city, kind of uh, a sort of a futuristic city. I, I got a good look for it because there's no other space stations I've seen on Google Images that um, sort of look like this. So I was pretty happy that I managed to get a fairly original design. And this is going to be another room. And this one goes out so you can look around the rest of the station if you walk out through these doors here. Okay, you can see we're just one layer above the bottom layer. And get the ladder system to get around. And another room down here. So this still needs to be fleshed out. These flooring in here and all kinds of stuff up in those towers. I'm probably put teleporters to get around to the higher levels. Now this base room I'm going to fill with nuke reactors, the applied energetic system, all kinds of ridiculous stuff to give power and. Um, bits and bobs to the station because every station is going to need a ton of power generation maybe even anti-man production I'll see what I can fit in it again just looking through the floors so this is the uh, base floor again and we'll get a nice shot at the end of the whole station together so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button uh, I've said that a million times but still and um, yeah, come back for the next episode where I will be um, fleshing out the interiors and stuff. And check out some of my other videos as well if you're if you're new to this channel, like Vault Wars and things like that. Give it, give them a check out because I'm sure you will enjoy them. So yeah, for now, thanks for watching, and um, catch you later.